Yo, hi guys, um, welcome back to another video on my channel. It's currently Christmas Day, but it's not when you're watching this because it's going to be uploaded tomorrow on Boxing Day. I oh, hope you all had a good Christmas. Um, I know I did. Um, I've got quite a fair amount to show you. Um, and before you say, oh, you got so much, I literally only asked for Doctor Who stuff. Maybe like a new onesie which I'm wearing at the moment but apart from that um just Doctor Who mainly uh and yeah so I don't know what to show you first because I've got quite a few things to show you let's start with audios so I only got two um but that's okay because I got a lot um this time last year so I got um Lil of the Nomad um this that was not that was from um, a godparent I believe and I'm really excited to listen to this one because I've heard great things and um, yep, it's the newest big finish I own so that I'm really excited for. And I got this in the Jago and Lightfoot sale, um, Jago and Lightfoot Constructs. Um, I haven't listened to this one but it looks just up my street um, so I'm really excited. It's called The Haunting and that is definitely my sort of thing. And if I like it, you never know, I, might, I may start collecting Jago and Lightfoot, um, you know, the, the, all those series is that they've done um but yeah lovely really looking forward to um listening to these two so yeah that's them uh what else have we got let's do this next the cablama yeah so i got this a few months ago in um a shop but i was like save it for christmas um and that is what i did so this is what i've been doing i've had no merchandise for like five months so this is one of the pieces and it looks great i mean oh um, i just don't want to open it but look at that 900 it's just so cool probably my favorite um funko pop i own and um yeah a great character from series 11 as well so love him um calendars now we've got the everyday 2020 calendar which i'm really looking forward um to starting and oh sorry that's the camera moving not me oh god uh we also got the big oh here we go the, the monthly 2020 current uh, um i forgot the company that make this danilo yep thought it was um and it looks amazing i've i've opened a few not one well, not opened you know what i mean but um i've just had a look at the artwork and it's just fabulous like eccleston there <laughs> He's just the first one that I picked out. But yeah, lovely calendar. Uh, 2018, sorry, what year are we in? 2019, um, the monthly calendar wasn't great with Jodie, but I mean, so yeah, very happy to have that one. And this one. So, oh, that's that. Uh, figures now, got a couple of Titans. Um, the first one is of um, Capaldi. Um, I've got a big 6.5 inch Capaldi, but this is just... A little Capaldi, so very happy to add him to the collection. As well as my favourite Doctor, Sylvester McCoy, in Colin Baker. There he is. Colin Baker's outfit. And, oh my God, I've been wanting this um, forever. So, <laughs> very happy to have found that on eBay. Just give him a little twirl. That's quite cool. Whee! Yep. Gotta love McCoy. Um, lovely. I'll try and arrange these at the end. Um they're not gonna lie there is quite a bit though so it's gonna be quite hard um uh, more figures now we've got un de and please stand Toi. Uh, uh. so he's just sitting down there we go it works so we've got the oud um i haven't actually got an oud figure and this was unbelievably cheap so i was like Christmas. <laughs> um, yep, I love the detail on his face. It's just... Mm, can't go wrong with an ood. <laughs> um, Martha Jones in her black army gear stuff. Yep, lovely figure. Um, again, wasn't really expecting this. <laughs> yep, very cool. And I'm going to use this in like figure animations if I ever do any more um, as like side characters because this isn't her most recognisable costume. But yeah, and one that I'm really ecstatic about um, is an Axon. Now, I haven't actually got an Axon, um, which is surprising considering they're not 
the most expensive thing on eBay. Um, but I love him. I'm so happy to finally own him. He's just, he's amazing. I love him. We've fallen in love. Uh, lovely Axon. Um, detail on him's great. Axon. So, yep, that's my figures. Oh, now. So, the main thing that I asked for for Christmas was Target books. Um, so, I got nine plus something else, which I'll be showing you very shortly. So, we're just going to run through them all now. Um, in the order of their appearance on TV. The Myth Makers, probably my favourite Target book that I got today. Um, the cover, oh my god. It's not like a story that I'd go to. I mean, you can't, it's missing. But like, it's not a Target book that I'd purposely look for. But I'm so happy to have got this today. It's it's amazing, it's in pristine condition. And, you never know, could give this one a read. So, love The Myth Makers. Try and find it. Um, what else have you, oh yeah. Damon's. Oh, love it. A very thick target book, actually. And I sort of like the fact that it's not in pristine condition. It gives, it adds it, it adds to its character. It even says Judy Price, age 12. So this is back in the 70s, bear in mind. So, like, Judy Price is probably, like, 50 now. But, <laughs> yep. I love it. Um, also, sticking with the Pertwee theme, we have the Three Doctors. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love, you know, just the three doctors as a story, let alone in a Target book. Um, I don't know if you can make it out, but it actually says Matthew H. <laughs> along the... But, you know, again, second hand, but can't go wrong. Um, this one isn't second hand. It's also in pristine condition. The Dinosaur Invasion. <laughs> I'm also in love. This actually completes my streak of seven Target books in a row. What I mean by this, it's like um, the Time Warrior through to the Ark in Space. I've got like all the Target books in that chunk, or, uh, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, love it. Oh, the cover. It's not like the clack one, but like, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Moving on to Tom Baker. The Bruins of Morbius. Again, weird cover, um, but yellow it doesn't really suit the theme of the gothic genre, but I love it. It's a great story. Um, love it. Very happy to add that one to the collection. Horror of Fam Rock. Oh my god. My favourite story ever, probably, in Classic Who. Um, yeah, it's not very um, um, pristine condition, and it actually says... Chancellor School Library, so wow, this come this has come from a library, so um that's interesting to know. Um I'm I did wonder where Chancellor School is actually. I'm gonna keep this aside so I can look that up at the end of the video. Um you never know, I may leave you a link in the description. Davison now The Awakening. Oh I mean look at that cover, look at that big thing. Eric Pringle. Um again, not not in best condition but I, I kind of like it that way lovely love I mean again not the best TV um, serial but definitely a nice book to have to the collection very happy with that um, two more now both from the McCoy era Dragonfire oh look at that that's just lovely isn't it again from one of my favorite stories I've even been to a panel about the story with Sylvan Soph so that is very nice. I love my Target books, I really do. And I love the smell of them. If you have not smelt your Target books, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, love it. Awesome. McCoy is my favourite Doctor, after all. And Ghost Lights. I just love it. Again, um, apparently this is sort of meant to make more sense than the TV serial, so that's nice to know. <laughs> there we go. So that's just... I love it. By Mark Platt, also in pretty good condition. I think. Yep. It's got no names. There we go. And finally. Oh god, there you go. Finally. I mean, I was not expecting this. The Target story, but let me just bring you back. This this is massive. I did not expect this to be so big. Like, I can't even show on camera how big this book is, but 
Oh my god, I love it. It's probably my favourite thing ever. Um, if you saw my Instagram story, you'd know what I said about it. 15 new, thrilling new adventures, blah blah blah. Oh my god, if you just open this, it's like... Oh. And I didn't realise that on every start of the story, yeah, there's like a bit of artwork to go with it. Interstitial, I can't say that, sorry. It's by Colin Baker, and it's a Colin Baker book. It's just, oh, where's... Trying to find another one for you. Here we go. Save Yourself by the late Terence Dix. With a lovely Troughton artwork. I am so excited to be getting into these. Um, I was not expecting this. And my god, it's a big surprise. But there we go. The Target storybooks are all stories in the end. Which is very true. So, yep, very chuffed. So, finally, something else that I got um, recently was this massive shelf. Which, if you've seen my room tour, goes here. Um, and I'm just going to show you where everything lives now. So up here we have all my titans, including the new oh, hang on, Sylvester McCoy. Nope. Oh, apparently I've, I've lost a titan somewhere. No. I'll work out who that was in a minute. And obviously my new um, Capaldi. Target book collection. I'll be doing an actual collection video on this in the coming months. So I won't, you know, give you too much of that. And... Oh, I'm about to... Um, God, some figures are falling down. Let me just fix that. There we go. Most things are sorted. Now, with the addition of these two lovely figures sitting right there. This isn't all my figure collection, by the way. Um, so, yep, that's the shelf. We've got uh, the Kablam Man, who is in the top right over here. There he is, looking amazing next to Jody. We've got the new big finishes. We've got the Jago and Lightfoot on there. And Lure of the Nomad in the middle of your screen here. And we have got the Axon with our classic villains display. Sitting comfortably in the shelf over there. So I'm pretty sure that's everything I can display at the moment. Um, but yeah, go. it's been a great Christmas. Um... Hope you all had a good Christmas as well. Um, let me know in the comments what you got it, or if you haven't done a haul, because I've probably watched everyone's hauls by now. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you very, very much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you at the end of the year for something special. Bye for now.